Okay, so we bought the QuickJack BL5000 SLX and we're gonna be unboxing it and then testing it. So let's go ahead and dive in right away. All right. Some wood. And it looks like we have a quick jack here. All right. Let's see. Ooh, that is heavy. <laughs> well, it would be heavy if it's gonna carry that much weight. So I believe that one of these has some uh, some wheels. I see the wheels right here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is take this out of this box. Or and then I'm gonna move this box over. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing in this box. And there's nothing. And then We'll put this crap over here. Ugh. So instead of this, making this a really long video, guys, I'm gonna rush the unboxing process. I want you guys to see how it shows up, but I'm not gonna go slow on it. But I'll tell you what, these things are super heavy. Woo! So I believe there's a handle there which makes sense because I almost pinched my finger. So I'm thinking the handle is going to go over there. We'll figure this out here in a second. All right. All right, let's go to our second one here. So of course we took off the tie straps before. In the outside of the box it had these things. So we took them off just to save some time. And this is, that's pretty thick. All right. Ow. Okay. Wheels again on this side. Again, really heavy. Um, the website says, oh, one person could do all this. Well, you can, but. All right, so this looks like it goes on there but it doesn't have a good enough lip and I feel like it would fall. So I'm actually gonna just do this. All right, so next box over. Wanna be careful with our cars. I'm gonna slide this over here. All right, next box. Let's see what's inside here, unboxing. Okay, packing list. If you guys never work in manufacture, this is important because this will tell you if you have everything that you're supposed to have. All right. These are gonna be the wires, cables for connecting the two jacks, and I'm assuming this is the pump. All right, we got our bricks, which we're also gonna need for lifting cars. I'm gonna go sideways, pull out. Inside here, I'm assuming that's gonna be a power unit. Let's go ahead and look inside there. Uh, actually, no, it looks like a little bit of oil maintenance. We'll figure out what that is. Some more blocks and a cap. Working in avionics and aviation and military, Capping your connectors are good, so you can keep dust and stuff away. All right, we come over here. All right, you gotta be gentle-ish. Got a bunch of stuff in here. All right, and here is our compressor and motor 120 volt, which is 
Really important. Okay. And that is, that's it in the box. So we have all this set up. At this point in time, we're gonna turn off the camera. We're gonna read the instructions. And then once we read the instructions, then we're gonna go ahead and do a quick test and conclude the video. All right. Okay, so we're back. This is day two. And um, I'm gonna be honest, Quick Jack didn't really uh, give you forewarning of everything that you have to do. Um, you have to put together all the hoses, uh, apply Teflon tape. Now that seems pretty easy, but I was looking at some previous videos and I saw that some of the kits that they provided, they provided a Teflon tape. Uh, they had a nice tray with all the parts. There's no Teflon tape and they just threw a lot of the fittings in a little box. And on top of that, you have to go out and buy about 20, uh, 20 to $25 worth of automatic transmission fluid because they don't provide that for you. So there was a couple of things that, this took a day to prepare. Uh, I like to take things slow, so it took some time. Well, we're here, we're gonna go ahead and lift the GT4 up. We've got all the jack, uh, the quick jack set up to my best knowledge because I'll be honest with you, I, uh, I've been trying to take my time, but this has been taking quite a bit of time. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and do the test. And real quick before we do the test, I do wanna give a quick shout out YouTube channel is GT Machine and the guy he was showing how to do a oil change on GT4 He had the quick jacks and that's how I found out about them And uh, so I have to give props to him and his oil change YouTube video is like perfect. I'm not making one. <laughs> his is way too good. All right guys So let's go ahead and lift it up So it says to go past the first. All right, so we're past the first one. And let's go ahead and get this. We're doing this like live action. All right, it says do not stop raising the frames till you're past the first locking position. Stop raising the quick jack frames just to pass the first locking position. Make sure both locking bars are moving freely in their respective lock channels. All right. Good, and then I'll check the one back here, but there's not a lot of room, Elisa. So. All right, so they're free. Okay, make sure all lift blocks are still in contact with factory recommended lift points. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, it looks like it's got that lift point. Oh. Got that lift point. I'm gonna go back here, check these. Still good on that. Still good on that. All right. So we're doing it the first time with you guys. All right, here we go. All right, make sure our lift points, blah, blah, blah. Rock the vehicle gently. That ain't moving. If the vehicle's stable, press up and continue raising the quick jacks. If the vehicle's not stable, press down. To engage the quick jack on the first locking position, press down to all the frames until they lock. So the last step, which I didn't show on the video, was me pressing down on the controller. And what that does is it just locks in to position in the locking safety part for the quick jack. So it's there. I'll be honest, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about this. I mean, I've, this has been out for a long time. I wanna show you guys, my people, my YouTube family, what I'm doing here. Um, this is just gonna make it easier to do oil changes. Uh, the setup was, it took some time. I think the company could have done a lot uh, ahead of time. Uh, but if it works, then you know that initial work in the front will pay off. We'll see. And, uh, and I'm still, you know, I'm still crazy. I'm still gonna put a jack stand under there because, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to lose my life or anything like that. Well, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Really appreciate it. Again, big props to the guy who introduced me to it. And uh, hope you guys are staying safe. Take care and uh, stay tuned. We have a lot of cool stuff and we'll talk to you soon.